Sup everybody, so today I'll be sharing with you some tips on how to improve your editing as in make it faster and make it more efficient. So first up, I'll be sharing with you some settings that you can consider before anything else. So first, go to this view here, over here, or usually it's at the middle but I've already closed this so it's here, right, top right hand corner. So you can choose the quality to better performance. So every time you play a video, you just drop the resolution and everything so it can be played back very smoothly. And if you want to have a very clear high resolution scene, you just pause the video and then you just check your inspector and it should be in high resolution and every time you export it stays in the high resolution and then secondly please remember to select your overall project file the scp bundle and then go to file and remember to delete generated library files delete everything because this will decrease the chances of you getting problems such as you can't open up your titles or use your LUT or use smart confirm and that's very important to increase your efficiency. Thirdly, please remember to go to Final Cut Pro preferences and then go to playback and deselect background render because whenever you select the background render it's gonna eat up your CPU and everything because every time you pause the video for more than 0.3 seconds for this case it just render automatically and if you have a shitty Mac <laughs> it's not gonna work man so just deselect this next up please remember to check your video information so for example if you want to check out the resolution and frame rates for this video clip, just go to this button over here and then select general for the metadata views and then just scroll down and you can see the frame rates and the frame size. Yep, this is a 4K 25p video. For example, if you downgrade the resolution and you think that it's gonna be easier, please think twice because is going to render as well unless you use proxies to uh, I mean edit if you can see there are little white dots over here this means that Final Cut Pro is actually rendering it out this clip is only 25 frames per second so the Final Cut Pro X is adding more still frames see there are two still frames in between these to make it up to 60 frames per second and it's downgraded resolution so I suggest to create a frame rate and frame size timeline exactly the same as your clip for this case it's 4k 25 frames per second for me I just drag it onto the timeline and everything is done it's smooth every frame is different instead of having two frames that is completely the same this means that your final cut does not render the extra frames for you to have a smoother clip thirdly please remember to use keyboard shortcuts i have made a video regarding keyboard shortcuts so i will not go into details for this one but i'm just gonna share with you on some keyboard shortcuts which linked me to the next point which is to use plugins for example if you want to use your titles be it your default basic titles or a fancy title you can always use Control plus t to create the title for this case it's basic title because i've made it the default title if you want to use a more fancy title you just go to your titles i want to choose this very cool looking title I just right click on it and just make it my default title so the next time I use Control plus T it's this title that came out and then I can do all my necessary adjustments such as to uh, change the color and change everything for example I can always go and remove the background for you guys and then change the title scale title position it's going to look awesome and it's very simple you just press ctrl plus t 
for transition wise so let me cut this clip first and then I use command plus T that is my default transition so my default transition is brush and if I want to choose something else I can always for example I have this gigantic graphics pack transition and sometimes I use the automate transition pack my absolute favorite I can use it on a lot of videos for this case I'm just gonna try the typography one so I'm just right click on this and make default and then I'm just hide this and here I'm just gonna press command plus T and you can see that it's having a transition over here very cool very clean and very neat and the last point would be to create a very very useful adjustment layer so I have been using the adjustment layer it's very useful because you don't have to uh, repeat all the steps you just drag it over and then apply on it and it automatically apply it on all of your clips instead of one by one uh, applying for example you have multiple clip here and let me hide this so say if you want to have your own custom LUT applied on every single clip first you have to go and search for your custom LUT yep and you drag it onto every single clip it's very troublesome you can actually use command C and I mean command shift V but also a lot of work so for example you want to apply on LUT master I've actually applied some of the LUTs for example this one very cool very clean and you want to apply it onto the next clip uh, you have to use command plus C and command shift plus V and then blah 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 paste and then everything changes but if you're using an adjustment layer it saves you all the trouble you can only use it once and everything is automatically applied for example I use this that over here I can even change the input according to whichever timeline this one is standard rack 709 but if you're using 2020 you can always use this option over here and then voila every clip is applied and it looks awesome and if you're using it for very very detailed adjustments like colors and everything you can just change it over here over your adjustment layer and it's automatically applied to everything else and it's going to save you a ton of time and that's all for today's video hope you guys enjoy it and please subscribe to my channel see you next time